Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be doing, as you guys can see from the title, a uh, Korean makeup look. This is a little bit different from the last video because this is going to be a mixture of... Did I say Korean makeup look? It's not a Korean makeup look. It's just a look with Korean products. Yes. Okay, this video is a little bit different from the last video because in this one, it's going to be a mixture of products that I have but I haven't tried and just new products. So yeah, I know my last video was really, really long and I'm so sorry about that. I just got super excited and started rambling about all the products and just Korean makeup, K-beauty in general. Um, I'm so sorry. I know this video is a lot shorter though. I try to make it a lot shorter. I don't know. We'll have to see when I'm editing. But yeah, um, I hope you guys like this and I'll see you guys in a second. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the first step that we're going to do is I believe in my own opinion, the most important step because this is just something that everyone in Korea does and that is sunscreen sunscreen <laughs> so this is the Centella green level safe sun from Purito 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 I'm gonna say Purito because it sounds better <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not saying it right but this has a uh, SPF 50. It's formulated with centella extracts and trouble-free ingredients. Not only this, water-based sunscreen will dissolve under undesired skin concerns by protecting against UV rays and other factors, but also will give no sticky feeling nor white residues on the skin. This is honestly like perfect for under your makeup. Highly recommend this product right here. It is a bit pricey, but it's really worth it, I promise. This is such a good product. I already applied this product, so as you guys can see, there is no white residue. Highly, highly, highly recommend this product right here. So the very first thing that we're obviously going to do is our base. So the very next step after sunscreen is foundation, and this time I actually got some bottle foundation rather than cushion and I have two different kinds so I have the Moonshot Micro Correct Fit Foundation with SPF 50 this what <laughs> this one right here um I think I don't know what the brand is cuz it doesn't say anywhere here maybe it's Moonshot I thought that was just like the name of what this foundation is. I'm not too sure, but it's this one right here. And then the other one is the Pony Effect Cover Stay Liquid Foundation. I believe this is her newer one. Don't quote me on that because um, I just don't know. This, I think. Oh, never mind. It doesn't. I can't really tell you guys any other information about these products because they're in Korean. <clears throat> so this one I want to try but it's kind of broken I don't know how it broke but it's like you guys can see right it's like tilted to the right and it's leaking foundation and it's kind of messy um I'm just going to try my hardest or my best to use this foundation because you know it's still usable even though it is broken but for the sake of this video, to keep it nice and easy and clean, we're going to use the other one, which I'm also really excited about. Hopefully this matches me because just looking at it in the bottle, I feel like, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on, in the back of my hand. And we're going to be using a brush. And the brush that I use for like all my foundations and all my baby creams is the only one that works for me and doesn't leave any streaks is the Real Techniques 101 brush. If you guys um, can recommend me any brushes that don't leave any foundation brushes that don't leave any streaks on the face, I would like so appreciate it. So I'm just gonna grab that and I'm going to dot it on my face. Okay, now we get our mirrors and blend away. <laughs> oh. 
right off the bat, you guys, this definitely matches. I'm trying to like contain my excitement because the last video, like I said in the intro, <laughs> I was so excited the last video because I just had never purchased so many Korean makeup. So I just kept rambling because I was just so excited. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And it's just one layer, guys. Like, literally just one layer. I think one layer is honestly, like, all I'm going to need. I'm just, like, dabbing it onto the nose. When I do my face, I do kind of, like, a dab and pull. Just, like, a dab and pull when I'm doing it. But when I get to my nose, because I do sometimes have dry areas, like, right on the, like creases of the nostrils um if i were to drag and pull in that area it would just not look okay yeah so this is the finished look with the foundation <sighs> like you guys it really just doesn't leave any uh, streaks <laughs> it just doesn't leave any streaks which is something that bothers me a lot when I'm using foundation brushes and it's mainly the reason why I don't use foundation brushes but this brush right here just oh my god it's amazing it works wonders I do like to go in with a sponge just to like get it really really like soaked into the skin blended into the skin just in case I missed anything maybe take off a little bit of the excess product because of course I don't want anything to be too heavy because you already know my go-to makeup is natural so the eyeshadow that I got is a little eyeshadow palette it has six shadows it's called Shabam Shabam eyeshadow bar palette and it's from uh Coring Co Coding Co. I think that is the brand. I mean, it's the only like, yeah, it's Coding Co. Sorry. Um, yeah. So the brand I believe is Coding Co. And this is in number two, Shy Night. So I'm just gonna open her up. Yes. They're like really pretty colors. I mainly got it because it had like the that corally peach pink color and it comes with a protective film and we're going to go with this shade right here and on the back of the palette it actually has the names which i can't read because it's in korean but it does have them numbered so that one is sb02 we're gonna go in with the Morphe JH33. This one right here, it's a fluffy brush. And we're gonna get that, what is it again? SB02. We're just gonna get a little bit of that and that's gonna be our transition shade. Let's see how these work. I kind of have a feeling that they're gonna be really natural. All right, if my camera, stand is moving if you can see the camera moving i'm sorry um i got a little bit closer so you guys can see a little bit better i don't know if this is too close but it'll just have to work all right so we're gonna start off doing this just doing it on the crease doing sweeping motion doing a sweeping motion with a little like circles that's pretty it's like really subtle all right i've done the other eye 
off camera. We're just going to be doing one eye while I'm recording and then the other eye I'm going to be doing off camera. So the next shade we're going to go in is this coral peachy pink color right here and this is SB SB05 hmm I don't know freaking butterscotch uh. we're gonna take that same brush and I don't really know what to do with this color so we're just going to start it out in the outermost corner and blend a little into the crease into the outer crease and then if it looks good we'll keep it that way if it doesn't then I'll just do it all over the lid I think it's gonna have to go all over the eyelid because it is a really light shade it's not too pigmented which is what I was expecting because Korean eyeshadows are usually like really not as it's not it's not as pigmented which isn't a bad thing because it gives a very natural not too intense eyeshadow look which is a reason why i purchased eyeshadow korean eyeshadow so we're just going to take our fingers and we're going to put that onto the lid We're gonna take that same brush and we're just going to like blend it upward just a little into the crease. All right, I've gotten the amount that I wanted on this eye. I just haven't blended it out yet. So we're just gonna do that on camera. For the next shade, I have no idea which of these two to try. I think I'm going to most likely do this one like right on the center of the eye and then this one more towards the, the inner corner. And we're just going to do that with my finger because your fingers are your best tools. So it looks like that is so pretty. Hopefully it applies the same onto the eyelid. Oh yeah, that's really nice. All right, we're gonna do the inner corners and then we shall be done. We shall be done with the eyeshadow is what I meant to say. But first, we're just going to take a clean, fluffy brush. This is the Morphe JH30. And we're going to kind of like blend out just a little bit the glitter. <laughs> and it's not like full on glitter, guys. It's like an eyeshadow, shimmery eyeshadow. There is like a little bit of fallout of the glitter though. There's like a little bit of glitter on my face. I don't know if you guys can see it. I ain't complaining though, I mean, it's glitter. And then we're gonna take our pinkies and we're gonna get that other more orangey color and we're gonna put it right in the inner corner. Actually, I may have to do it after because I'm gonna be doing concealer in this general area so that might be covered so we're just gonna do it after concealer so like I said in the intro this is a video that is a mixture of new Korean products and Korean products that I've already tried to complete like a full face of strictly only Korean products so I'm gonna go in with the Pony Effect Concealer. This is the CoverStay Liquid Concealer that goes with that foundation that I showed you guys earlier. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna put that in the areas that I need it. So last time I told you guys that this concealer was going to be way too dark for um, 
to do anything that's highlighting but because this is the only concealer that's Korean that I have this is what we're going to use I'm just gonna go in with my beauty sponge and I'm gonna blend those away. I'm gonna start off with the ones on my face. Okay, now for the inner corners. This child. <laughs> I don't keep him on my bed because he likes to pee on my bed. So, so he just has to stay on the floor. Before I get any creasing underneath the eyes, I'm going to bake. And the powder that I'm going to use is the Pony Effect. Cover stay bake and fix powder. So it's this one right here. The packaging I feel like is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is in the shade, if it has a shade. Yeah, it doesn't say if it has a shade or not. Um yeah, it doesn't say. So we're just going to spray my sponge. Just gonna spray my sponge. Real quick. And then, oh, we're just going to open this up. So uh, it comes with a little mirror and then it has a little poof. I'm going to not bake too much because I just don't like baking as much anyways, but I just wanted to try it, so. And I'm going to get that fluffy brush that I got and I'm just going to blend, wipe it away. Right when I put it on, I do this eye and then I'll take it off because I just, like I said, I don't bake that often. Now that I finished setting, now we can go into the inner corners with this orange shimmer shade with our pinkies, of course. And then we're just gonna, all right there, and then bring it in just a little bit. And we're gonna do the same with the other eye. I'm gonna take that puff that was in the um, setting powder and it has a little bit of the product on the puff. We're just gonna put it everywhere that I might need powder. So next is like my most favorite thing ever and that is blush. So this time we're actually gonna be able to try out the Better Than Cheek blush. Um, though I I didn't try this product in the last video, but I didn't mention it. So we're finally gonna be able to try it. Um, I don't think I actually said this earlier. I'm pretty sure I said it in my intro that this is a mixture of products that I haven't tried, that I have tried, and things that are just new. So like products that I've already had, but I didn't get to try. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put it on the apples of the cheeks the way I like to do it. So I like to put it like really up 
here, like almost a little bit underneath the eye. And bringing it outward, like if I'm putting highlighter, but blush. All right, I think I put way too much blush and it didn't really go in the area that I like to. I like to put it like here, not really there. Okay, we'll leave blush like that and then put this on the nose, just the excess on the cheek, on the forehead, just the excess. I'm just not gonna do brows and, and like my eyelashes. I'm just gonna do, I mean, I've done almost everything already. I've done blush, I've done eyeshadow, I've done my foundation and my concealer and baking powder. And now I'm gonna do my lips, so. Hmm. Okay, so this, line I've already tried but I didn't get to try this color this is the ink velvet O2 shade and it's like that rose color all right just put that right there and hope it does not fall and we're gonna put it in the center of the lips mm, it smells like cherries like candy cherries Ooh. I love this Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like really feeling myself with these, with this lipstick. I love the color. It's gorgeous. And now so that the lips aren't too dry, we take a little bit of lip balm. In my case, I'm using the Vaseline Rosy Lips. We just take the tiniest, tiniest bit so it doesn't get too glossy so that way it's actually a little hydrated okay um i'm finished with this look all right you guys so this completes the look i hope you guys like it i know it wasn't really full full face because i didn't do any highlighter i didn't do any brow situations and i didn't do my eyelashes i mean and that's mainly because I didn't don't have any old or like I don't have any brow highlighter or eyelashes or eyelash products that I haven't tried that I have in my possession but haven't tried and like the highlighter that I do have I tried in my last video so there really wasn't any products that I could use to do those three things that were missing um, but for the most part, I mean, I did the majority of like more than half of a full face. So I don't know. I hope you guys liked it. I mean, I had fun. I don't know when my next Korean makeup look or Korean first impressions is going to be because I just, I shouldn't <laughs> be purchasing makeup and I kind of been going a little crazy so yeah um yeah I'll see you guys next time adios